Good afternoon and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to um, introduce myself. So my name is Ruby Perez. I am currently in the social work field. I work with children and youth as uh, early as uh, two years old and as old as 19. Um, I hold a bachelor's in the arts and human development with the concentration in early childhood education. And I also hold a master's in science in children and adolescent developmental psychology. So today's topic is um, the eight stages of psychosocial development according to Eric Erickson. So who is Eric Erickson? He was an American psychologist and psychoanalyst who was born in Germany, who was best known for his famous theory of psychosocial development and the concept of identity crisis. His theories marked a very important shift in thinking on personality. However, instead of focusing on simply, simply on early childhood events, his psychosocial theory involved looking at how our daily life contributes to our personalities throughout our entire lifespan. So let me first start with the first stage. So the first stage of our psychosocial development, it starts from birth to one and a half years of age. This is when the infant starts to develop trust in care, caregivers, parents, and the world. So what this is, so what this means is if the, if the infant cries and he is carried, if the infant is hungry and he's being fed, he learns to trust who is taking care of him, his parents, However, if the opposite happens, if, you know, he's crying and he's hungry and he's not being attended to, he's going to lose trust. Um, if children at this age receive responsive care, then they are able to develop the psychological quality of hope. Stage two, autonomy versus shame and doubt. This stage is from 18 months to three years of age. This is a stage where the child gains independence, personal control, success. At this stage, the child um, develops determination. This is where the child begins to feel shame and guilt and also becomes shy when they meet somebody new. Stage three, initiative versus guilt, four to six years of age. Children here begin to explore their environment and exert more control over their choices. For example, the child at this stage begins to choose what clothes they want to wear, which toys they want to play with, where they want to go. If the child here successfully completes this stage, uh, the child is then able to develop a sense of purpose, and this will continue throughout their older years. Stage number four industry versus inferiority. This is from ages seven to 12. This is um, when the child focuses on developing a sense of personal pride and accomplishment. Success at this point um, in development leads to a sense of competence. This is also the stage where the child begins to think logically. This is when they start to have debates with their parents and voice their opinion. So this stage is very, very important. And one thing that I strongly encourage parents to do is to praise their child and acknowledge the child for their successes as this will give them a sense of, um, a sense of accomplishment and, when, and will help build healthy self-esteem. Uh, stage five, identity versus confusion. This is the adolescent years from 13 to 18 years of age. This is a time of personal exploration, also a period of a lot of confusion for some. At this stage, adolescents tend to seek more acceptance from peers and they start to want to become independent from their parents. This is when they try to um, adapt new hairstyles, new way of dressing. Uh, this is where they try to find their identity and see where they belong. If those adolescents at this age are successfully forging a healthy identity, uh, they tend to develop a sense of fidelity. Those who do not complete this stage successfully may be left confused about the role and place in life. So this is a stage where I highly encourage parents and caregivers to be patient with their children and help them stay motivated so they can build a healthy self-esteem and a healthy sense of of belonging. 
Um, intimacy, the sixth stage is intimacy versus isolation. This is the early adulthood years, which is from 19 to 39. Um, at this stage, the adult um, attains, wants to attain healthy relationships. This is when they are questioning what career they want to go to, where they want to work, what college they want to attend. Um, Intimacy and relationships is very important at this stage, as well as nurturing relationships and are very important and as well as financial stability. Uh, stage seven, generativity versus stagnation. This is called middle adulthood years, which is from 40 to 60 years. At this stage, people become concerned with contributing something to society and leaving a mark on the world. Raising a family is very important here. Having a career is, is also another um, very important key right here. Um, at this stage, if the person is a parent, uh, they might be also dealing with issues with their adult children. If they have parents, older parents, they, they may also be taking responsibility of helping care for their elder parent who, you know, by life circumstances, or illnesses may not be able to care for themselves. So this is an extra duty that is attained at this, at this stage. And the last stage is stage eight, which is integrity versus despair. Uh, this is the final stage of psychosocial development is from 61 years to death. Um, this is what the adult reflects back on life. For example, looking back at the family, at their career, um, who they helped, what they did for others, um, maybe of what they didn't do and what they would have loved to do. Those who look back and feel a sense of satisfaction develop a sense of, in of integrity and wisdom, while those who are left with regrets may experience bitterness and despair. And when this happens, it is, it is very important for the parent, for the older parent to have the support of their children. That's why I strongly encourage if you have older parents, visit them. Um, tell them thank you for being the parent you are. Remind, of them, remind them of the good things. Because at this age, a lot of elderly uh, tend to become depressed. So family support and encouragement is very, very necessary. So let me touch a little bit of the concept on identity crisis. This is when the person begins to feel confused about the place where they're at in life, not sure who they really are. Uh, this is when the person may experience, um, you know, um, things like, oh my God, what do I need to do? Um, this is not where I belong. This is where I would like to be. Eric Erickson coined this identity crisis and believed it was one of the most important conflicts people face during developmental stages. Why? Because a person becomes aware that they are actually missing something. Therefore, this allows a person to reflect on what is missing and how they will work towards attending that need. This can be a time of vulnerability, but also strength as people work to work towards success and failure. For example, due to, during an identity crisis, if it happens or if it has happened, don't feel bad about it. Actually, it's a good thing because it allows you to, to um, understand, you know what, I'm missing this. And how do I do to be able to get to where I want to be? How do I... Um, attend to my needs. So this is very, very important time to, to reflect and plan. And if you need support, seek the support, seek, seek, seek the support so you could be able to go where you will want to be in life. Well, this is the end of my video. Um, hope it was helpful and remember to subscribe. Also leave comments at the bottom of the page, any suggestions, any, any other topics that you would like me to discuss, please. Feel free to write it and looking forward to reading your comments. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.